Hi, I'm Alison. Do you struggle to work out why Christians make such a big deal about Jesus? I sure did. I grew up in a loving, stable home with my mum and my dad and my younger brother and sister. Going to church each Sunday was a regular part of our family's routine. As the eldest child, I was the obedient, people-pleasing, high achiever. The sort of kid that parents and teachers love, but siblings and peers loathe. Not surprisingly, I thought that all that God asked of me was to do my best. I knew very well that I wasn't perfect or as good as I could be, and I never denied that I did wrong things. I just thought that God expected me to try harder, lift my game, and do better next time when I stuffed up. I figured that my good intentions and my sincere efforts would really count for something with God. So by the time that I was 15, I was really struggling to see why Jesus always got star billing at church. Looking back now, I realise that I didn't get that the good things that I didn't do and the wrong things that I did do were in fact the symptoms of a deeper problem between me and God. I didn't see that in God's eyes, I'm by nature a rebel against the God who made me. In fact, I was enjoying and using his creation, but treating him like he didn't even exist. And that's a big problem. You see, if you're not aware that you have heart problems, you won't go and see a doctor and you won't see the point of cardiac surgery. I wasn't convinced that I had a serious sin problem and so I struggled to see the point of Jesus. I could, however, see that the, my Christian friends at school did get something about Jesus that I didn't get and I liked what I saw in their lives. And I knew enough to know that God really mattered. I felt really unsettled and I knew that I needed to get this Jesus thing sorted out. So long story short, I took myself off to my friend's church and I started praying, asking God, would you please help me to untangle who Jesus is and why he matters so much? At church, I started hearing clear teaching from the Bible about Jesus, about me and about life. Some months later, at a weekend away with the Christian group from my school, our small group leader, who was a girl just a couple of years older than me, explained the gospel to us. The momentous news about Jesus and God switched on the spiritual light bulb in my life. And, now, and I now saw that when I did wrong things or didn't do the right thing, I didn't simply create a problem between me and my friends and my family. That was bad enough. But I also created a problem between me and God. And here's the piece of the puzzle that had been missing for me. God had done something about that problem between me and God. He'd sent Jesus, his own son, to live on this planet and to then die on the cross in my place. He had died the death and taken the punishment that I deserved for my sin so that I could be forgiven by God. And he didn't stay dead. He rose back to life again as God's forever king. At that point, sitting on the grass, in the sun, by the river, 
I quietly thanked God for his gift of Jesus. I admitted my rebellion against God and I asked him to forgive me because of what Jesus had done. And I accepted Jesus as the rescuer that I desperately needed and the ruler that I could trust. And that's what I continue to do now every day. I keep on trusting, loving, obeying and worshipping Jesus as the forgiving and powerful saviour that I need and the generous Lord who I can trust in all of life. And I now know that Jesus is a big deal because of who he is and what he's done and that changes everything in life for everybody.